Haunted Eyelids Audio Theater. Painted Eyelids Audio Theater Productions presents Kentucky Velociraptor, written by Ben O'Connell and Jay Puka. Directed by Ben O'Connell and Jay Puka. It's time to wake up and live your life. You can sleep when you're dead. Yeah, yeah, I already snoozed my alarm twice. Where's my jacket? Man, I hate doing this day in and day out. Maybe one day something interesting will stumble into here. All right, chickens, come to Papa. Time to see how you guys did. Holy moly! At this rate, we'll have enough eggs to last the year. Now for this last pen. All right, buddy, what do you have? Oh my god! Wow, this is the chicken egg of all chicken eggs. It's huge. Well, I can't tell Pops about this. He'll just want to turn it into an omelet. Holy cow, I cannot believe what is going on today. I guess the only thing left to do is wait for this chicken to pop out. Man, it's been weeks. When is this egg going to hatch? Oh my gosh, it's really happening. Dad? Why are you in my room? I heard screaming along with a cracking noise. Was that you, son? I'm fine. I just found this egg inside the chicken coop, and I've never seen anything like... Wait. Where did the egg go? Uh, I don't know, son. You tell me. Where'd you put it? I set it right in the incub... <coughs> what is that, Trudy? That's not a chicken! I know. I found this giant egg. So I decided to see what it was. Son, do you have any idea how much trouble we're going to be in? It's a freaking velociraptor. They're supposed to be extinct. I wish I had a smart answer for you, Pops, but I got nothing. Well, what do you think we should do with it? Give it to the zoo? The government? No, Pops. Rosie's my best friend. Who's Rosie? (laughs) I know, right, Rosie? Well, I can't argue with that. Were you expecting visitors? No. Since when do I have friends besides the animals? Hello, gentlemen. I'm with the feds in Washington, and we've heard of some interesting things about your farm. Would you mind if we take a look around? We'll be quick, if you have nothing to hide. Yeah, you can get your filthy boots off of my prop. Trudy, come on in. We have nothing to hide. Excellent. Excellent. Are y'all done sniffing around? It's weird how there's nothing here. I could have sworn the boss said. Well, never mind. Sir, are there any other rooms that we haven't seen? Because if so, we will be back with your house play. Yes, there is one more room. In Trudy's room, there is an attic. Splendid. This place is clean. I can't seem to find anything useful for our... Whoa! What was that? It came from the attic. We need to get in there. That's Trudy's Velociraptor. Get the zap gun. We need to bring it in. What? On it. What are y'all trying to do here? Trudy, I'm sure you understand. 
This is a very serious issue. It's a velociraptor. The best thing for us to do is bring it into the lab. Dead or alive? Your choice. I was hoping you'd say that. No! Come on, kid. Why you gotta be physical? Just let us take the dino in and... Get off me. Go, Rosie. Go! <laughs> hey, kid. Get back here. I'm coming, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie! Rosie! Ouch! Why does there have to be so many trees in the forest? Hoo <laughs> wee! What was that? <laughs> Rosie? Oh, wait a second. You're not Rosie. <laughs> At the start of the day, I thought velociraptors in Kentucky were a thing of the past, but here I am. About to be eaten alive by one? <laughs> Rosie! Oh, Rosie, that must be your mother. Tiny? Oh, hello there, young man. Thank you for finding my velociraptor. Are you saying that full adult velociraptor is yours? Hi, I'm Dr. Trusty. I work with the Velociraptor Rehabilitation Project. We are working to help create a larger population of velociraptors to release back into the natural ecosystem. That there is tiny. One of our 14 velociraptors that I have the privilege of working with. She's not really tiny. Compared to other velociraptors, she is. Oh, wow. My velociraptor isn't that big, but that's because she hatched this morning. You have a baby velociraptor? Yeah, she's right over there. Ah, yes. I see her now. At first, she was hidden by that shrubbery. Her name is Rosie. Young man, I know this will sound rash. But I must take your velociraptor with me. Well, that's not going to happen. That's why we're on the run to begin with. You don't understand, Trudy. Velociraptors belong to the wild. They aren't humanly possessions. They're gifts from the earth. Well, I guess that does make a little sense. Will you take good care of Rosie? Oh, yes, of course. At the Dino Rehabilitation Center, she will get all of the food, exercise, and sunlight she deserves. Remember, I'm Dr. Trusty. I am nothing if not my name. That's a pretty good point. It's okay, Rosie. You can trust the doctor. Come here, Tiny. Rosie. Good job, Trudy. You made the right choice. I knew you'd see it my way. Good job, Trudy. You made the right choice. You couldn't have raised a velociraptor anyway. Uh, can you pass the butter? I don't know, Pops. I regret it. I just don't know if I can really trust that doctor. Well, you have their business card. Why don't you give them a ring and see if you can talk to Rosie? You're right, Pops. That's a good idea. She has a weird first name. Nah, uh, oh, how do you even say that? I don't know. I think it's Norwegian. Hello. You've reached Dr. Not To Be Trusted. I can't reach the phone right now. Oh no, Pops, it's pronounced Dr. Not To Be Trusted. Well, that's not good. We need to go save Rosie. Okay. Oh, we can take my military-grade helicopter. Wait, Pops, you have a military-grade helicopter? Yeah, look over there. Oh, I didn't see that at first. It was hidden by that shrubbery. Wait, how did you get the helicopter? I stole it. Oh. We're here. Hurry, land it over in that field next to that barn. All these velociraptors have headgears on. Rosie? Oh no, Rosie! 
How do I turn this thing off? Rosie, are you okay? I see you found my real intentions. Doctor, not to be trusted. Your full name gives it away. Ah, yes. Perhaps I should have chosen a better villain name, but what can I say? I prefer to be blunt. Get them, Velociraptor Army! Come on, Rosie, this way! Get to the chopper! No, I wasn't referencing anything. Hurry up! Hurry, take off! Aw, oh, curses! You oddly over-militarized chicken farmers from Kentucky! And my inability to resist clever wordplay! <laughs> Yay! We did it, team. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> no, it's it's an expression. You don't actually have to say it again. <laughs> Kentucky Velociraptor was written and directed by Jay Puka and Ben O'Connell, and featured Ben Clarkson as Trudy's father, Patrick Foley as Trudy, Lauren Ritter as Doctor Not To Be Trusted, Jesse Healy as Government Agent 1, and CJ Stemma as Government Agent 2. Kentucky Velociraptor was produced by Jay Puka and Ben O'Connell for the Painted Eyelids Audio Theater and the Columbia College Spring 2021 Audio Drama Course.